This is titled, My Redwood Brother. Stopped in traffic, I see you out my car window. I can see your years. My ancestors are gone now, and your mother cut down long ago. Your twin trunks grow from your mother's heart. You stand majestically reaching up above the damp fog, but your feet are smothered by roadway, sidewalk, and paved bike lanes. No nourishment seeps to your throat, only inches of soil for your roots to drink. Only a few feet away is constant cigarette smoke and idling exhaust pipes that blacken your bark. Sadness overwhelms me, tears fill my eyes. What can I do? How can I undo man's straight lines, man's blindness? Carbon moisture clogs your veins. Bad air becomes the air you breathe. Thinning copper leaves instead of lush dark green limbs. I weep for you, for our children, and I sob for our planet. I call out your ancient Ohlone name and whisper my sorrow. I get out and tightly wrap my arms around you. Can you feel my beating heart? I want you to hear my sadness, my regret, and to know my love, my Redwood brother. This is titled Officer Joe. Let me tell you about my day. I usually walk about two hours each day to get away from my computer. Today I decided to walk in the forest. I decided to take some new trails and yes, I got lost. So four and a half hours later I was back at my car and boy did my feet hurt. I wanted to find old growth redwoods in the forest. Wide trails became narrow trails used by horses but I did find five old growth redwood trees. All I could say when taking in their majesty was magnifico, magnifico, magnifico. Something the early Spaniards might have said when first seeing these giant trees. The tops were way above the canopy, showing new yellow green growth from our wet winter. The forest floor is covered with ferns, thick with green, healthy ferns. I took a few new growth sleeve leaves from the base of the redwood. I crushed them in my fingers, putting my fingers under my nose, closing my eyes, listening to the silence, the quiet, trying to put out of my mind the bad news of the last few weeks, the killings. Being still, only hearing the satin waters rolling and falling over smooth rocks far below. Smelling the redwood veins, the new life with eyes closed, I remember a friend I used to read with in San Francisco, a poet named Carlos Ramirez. Carlos was a retired, retired substitute teacher with frizzy long white hair, a fuzzy white beard, and big brown sad teddy bear eyes. One night when it was his turn to read, he said instead of reading a poem, he wanted to tell us about his day. That day he was assigned playground supervisor, which he wasn't particularly happy about. He noticed an older man hanging out in the schoolyard, so he went over to introduce himself. It turned out the old man was a retired SFPD, Officer Joe, a man who never had a family, a man who was a beat cop for 35 years in that Mission Street neighborhood. He knew all the kids, their parents, their grandparents, and all the merchants. He had walked those neighborhood streets and lived in that neighborhood for years. He was telling Carlos that he had bought and donated all the athletic equipment the kids were playing with in the playground. And he came every afternoon to show the kids how to shoot a hook shot or how to play tetherball or push the little girls on the swings. Carlos was tearing up as he told this story, reminding us of the good policemen in our lives, like Officer Joe. While standing there in the forest, listening to the silence, smelling those young redwood leaves, a thought occurred to me, which I want to assign to all of you listening to me right now. Each day I ask of you, in conversations, in emails, use the word peace three times each day. I thank you, and the late Carlos thanks you too.